tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network, canal 153 de Sirius XM Radio. Y primero vamos a hablar con uh, Tom Peters, que es el jefe de diseño, eh, de diseño exterior del nuevo Corvette Stingray 2014. So now we're here with the man responsible for the design of the new Corvette, the seventh generation Corvette. And also we have to say for the controversy that came after that, right? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, after driving the car, I mean, I think you guys did a great job because a lot of thumbs up everywhere on the road. Yeah. We drove for about 200 miles, like five, six okay. hours, with stopping and going. And, and again, everybody, everybody, mm -hmm. all the owners of all Corvettes, mm -hmm. young kids, everybody. Mm -hmm. So... I, mean, I guess that's the reaction you were expecting, right? It was, yeah. We were expected uh, some very dramatic reaction. I think we've received that so far. You know, the cars only had limited exposure um, out on the street. This is one of the biggest events, I think, that's been really uh, public with so many cars together at one time. And uh, you're exactly right. Wherever you stop, there's people around. They just, they just are compelled to come over and want to talk about it. And you know what? There's no mistaking what it is. They know it's a yeah. Stingray. They know it's a Corvette. And that says a lot because we tried to change as much as we could on this vehicle. It was very intentional. It was tail lamps. That was no accident that it's, it uh, kind of created some energy around uh, you know, some very passionate reactions. So that's what we were after. Was that the case even in the development stages of it? Like internally oh, when they were designed, yes. like, there were people like, oh, oh no, no, we should keep the Corvette yes. looks. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of discussion about that, but I just had a vision for what this car needed to be. And I, I just, it just felt, you know, a lot of this stuff is you, you can't calculate. You don't do clinics, you don't do charts, you don't. It's just something you feel, and I think that that's what makes a lot of these cars successful. Is that you somehow you transfer a passionate uh, belief or feeling or soul into a car. That's what makes a great car absolutely fantastic. And I think yeah. that's key to the success of cars like the Stingray or Corvette. But also, I mean, this is a business. Uh, General Motors, Chevrolet is trying to make money selling these cars. Exactly. You sell a lot, that's, that's and then the uh, th this car is like a pure American. But you mm -hmm. are trying to appeal to other markets too, right? Yeah, I like to say that you know it's it's a glo it's an American with global savvy. You know, uh, it does have American characteristics, but I think you will find. I mean, uh, let the drivers be the judge, but. Uh, we've had some experience overseas driving these on different roads and different environments, and it, it, it's poised and uh, I think uh, uh, performs extremely well. Yeah, and it looks extremely well. And I have to say, I mean, I was at the, uh, the official presentation at the Toronto show in January, mm -hmm. and then about eight months later, now you've seen it here. And it's one to seem to, to see it on a stage like this indoors, and another one to see it on moving the road. and like, yeah, the lights on and all that. So. Yep. How happy are you when you see all the thumbs up on the road? Oh, I, I tell you what, I am, I am proud personally, but I'm also very proud of the team that worked on this. I, um, and I'm not just saying that uh, as a professional, but I mean, because I know the very talented, committed, passionate people. It's not, it's not just a job for them. Yeah. And it, my trick is to take all those folks' passion and target it and get it focused in Because I firmly believe that passion comes right through the body panels, yeah. and pe it resonates with people. I've seen it before. We did that on the Camaro, and, and everyone knows the response to that around the world. Um, and, and I wanted to have that same type of response and understanding by not only um, the, the long-standing traditional customers, but also the, the, the new customers. I like to say that, and this is the truth too, what I had in mind are the 9 and 10 year old kids. And the ones that are going to buy gonna, like maybe yes, next yes, or talk two, about, two generations down yes, the road. Yes, yes, and I think we, you, need, you need to have that. And I love it when they say, Stingray, it's a new <laughs> Stingray. You know, they don't have that, that knowledge or they don't care about the, about the older cars or yeah. traditional heritage that's carried through. They just know what looks cool and really strikes them. and. Uh, shapes and forms that are memorable, and if you do a strong enough car, that'll live with them the rest of their lives. Everybody remembers their first ride in a Corvette, oh, absolutely. right? Yeah. yeah well, uh, congratulations on the job, Thank and you. like uh, I, I guess uh, you're already working for that car for those nine, ten year olds, right? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> At yeah. least thinking of it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, I've seen. I've seen it personally numerous occasions. They'll just you see them pointing, and I've heard them say, just yell out "Stingray," and that that's what makes me feel yeah. good. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much, Tom. You bet. My pleasure. Bye.